Hi guys, Gadget Man 404 and like it says Bebop 1 in New Area, freaking awesome. Now this is in Ilkeston. Uh, if you follow this canal, it actually takes you to Burnley uh, Viaduct, uh, where there's uh, they fish there, they have matches and all that kind of thing, which you will see later on in this video. So a bit of a spoiler alert there. I didn't realise in orientation of where I actually was until... Um, later on in the video. Now, I'm flying blind, basically. I've never flown this area. I don't know if there's pylons and all that kind of thing. I'm not aware of if there's anything around this corner because where I'm flying from, I've got a big tree line in front of me and it's just blocking my view slightly. But I take a chance and have a fly around this bend just to see what's there. Now, this is a canal, but I don't think boats can go in here because as you see it narrows and then it goes wide and then there's things you know in the way there's no locks on this kind of canal this is more like a natural canal just lots of reed beds so there's probably lots of fishing here and me and my son might be going up here one day to go fishing but the detail on this bebop one can just see now there's a guy walking across the bridge there he goes walking across that bridge I'm about 60 odd meters high and uh, there you go there he's just breaking the tree line so I decide okay I don't want to go any further because I don't know how much range I'm going to get with the bebop so I decide to turn around and then I'm sort of coming back on myself uh, there's my mate top left hand corner that's his phantom 4 pro and just in these uh, sort of piles of earth, we are standing right in the middle of the, that long pile and that little white pile. I'm just there. There you go, me and John. I'm flying down the canal. Uh, I'm about 50 to 80 metres high, and I'm just seeing what kind of range I'll get. Now, I should have stood... I stood on that bridge because it's higher than where we were. There would be no trees in the way. Then I'd have probably got better range. But like I say, the Bebop one is still awesome, awesome quadcopter. I love uh, the footage. I love the stability. There was no wind the other day. Uh, the temperatures were like 17, 18 degrees. So didn't affect the battery whatsoever. I got about 15 minutes in total of the flight, but this video has been edited. And I'm now deciding to look down as I'm flying forward. I know there's nothing in front of me. I know there's nothing to the sides of me. There's no high trees. Um, I'm pretty much trying to keep in the middle. And this is just an awesome, awesome quadcopter. People uh, bypass the Bebop 1 and go for the 2. And the power there's a biker going down there look on the left but seriously people for a starter drone it's got sonar sensors underneath so when it comes into land it won't actually land until you press landing or if the battery is low enough it will land so if you're coming down over some trees or some sort of building it would sense it and it would actually give you a bit of distance between so very very good as you can see, the camera's picking up the different colours of the water. For some reason here, it's really murky. Don't know why. Can't say that there's no boats going here because, look, it just narrows. It's a natural canal. It's not a man-made canal. I uh, don't even know how deep it is. It's probably not very deep at all. But I'm deciding. I just want to go around, just see how far I can go. Uh, and an awesome view coming up just there Benelli viaduct is sort of mid right corner you can just see the viaduct itself and then there's a wind turbine in the background this was this is like in Ilkeston but near I think it's called uh, Kimberley yeah it's near Kimberley so you know on a lovely clear day like today fantastic views bit hazy the higher up you go but I'm not going too high as you can see again the water goes murky here it's just the natural way it is I think I don't think nothing made it like that it's just that's how it is 
Uh, the tree line, these trees are, like I say, 60, 70 metres high. And it just looks amazing around here. I've never been here, and I've lived in West Hallamilkiston area for over 25 years, and I never knew this place existed until this week. So thanks to John, who took me here. Now, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit sketchy here now. So uh, I decided to lay off. I'm getting a bit of break up on my transmitter. Uh, I should have stood on the bridge and I would have had a more clearer view of the quad, but I didn't. So that's my bad. And then I decide, right, I don't want to push it anymore. Battery life was about 25%. I think I'll come home. If it would have come down, then it would have just come down in these fields. And I'd have had a bit of a walk to go and get it, but I would have been able to retrieve it nevertheless. So she's coming home. Uh, I just this think this quadcopter is very, very understated. Uh, at around about this point, I'm hitting 18% on the battery. Once you get to 20%, this battery does go flat a lot quicker. Uh, well, not than a normal battery, but you hit 20 and then it starts to go down quite quickly. Uh, I'm using a 2500 an aftermarket battery just to give me a bit more flight time because the stock batteries you only get up to five to seven minutes. They're old, you know. I've had my drone out a year and it's a three, four year old model drone. So those original batteries are four or five years old and they still work, but I mainly use them for. The transmitter or actually for if I want to transfer my videos to my tablet or my phone while I'm traveling home so like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one gadget man 404 out <laughs>